All right, a quick, um, a quick, a, a quick update. Um, I talked a little bit earlier today about data as opposed to models. Let's look at some more data. Uh, right now, Hillsborough County, where I live, there are 1,022 confirmed cases, and unfortunately, sadly, 21 deaths. If you look at this map that comes from the John Hopkins University. Um, and medicine um, website if you take a look I've got it on one of their settings on deaths if you look at the lighter colors there have been few or no deaths from uh, where the lighter colors are let me drop that for a second to give you an, to give you a for example let's go up to uh, Taylor County Taylor County has three confirmed cases and no deaths Let's go down to get this out of the way. Uh, one of the south, southern counties. You see it's in a darker color. Um, this is Broward County. Broward County has had 4,500 cases and unfortunately, sadly, 162 deaths. Let's go a little. Oop, I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do something else. Let's go a little bit further south to. Uh, Miami-Dade, 10,000 cases, 287 deaths. That's that's horrible. But you can see, uh, not every not every place in the country is um, experiencing the same situation. Uh, not even everywhere in the same state is. Let's look at St. John's County and Duval County. For those of you who don't know, Jacksonville is in Duval County. Duval County has had almost a thousand cases and 18 deaths, and you can see that they're a lot. They're a, a, the same sort of light blue color or like purple color. You can't really tell um, in the video as Tampa is. Let's look at St. Johns County, which is just south of there. Um, we used to live in St. Johns County, yes, I know. Uh, 203 cases and four deaths. So they're looking at four deaths, and they're thinking, what's the deal? We've shut down our economy for four deaths. That doesn't make much sense to them. For those of you who don't understand why um, there are certain people who are saying, you know what, it may be time at this point to go ahead and crank this bad boy open. It ain't because they, they, um, they're they greedy. It's because people are hurting financially and they can't, like in Flagler County, which is just south of St. John's, where they have 106 cases and only two deaths, they can't see why not so hopefully that'll be a, a little bit more i don't know reasoned approach to some of this and if you're looking at a county like orange county orange county is where walt disney world is 1200 cases 1290 cases 30 deaths um and and and, and the surrounding counties lake county uh what else is right around there there's, there's orange uh Volusia County with 15 deaths, 428 cases. Uh, was just south of there. Osceola County, 461 cases, seven deaths. And just to the west there is Polk County, 393 cases and 18 deaths. And then Hillsborough County with 1,022 uh, and 21 deaths. Now, uh, of course, along this quarter here where the mouse is, is a pretty up this up this quarter. You can tell. The, the population density is as good as it is in most of Central Florida. And then on the West Coast is Pinellas County with 673 confirmed cases and so far 24 deaths. I want to start working with data as opposed to models. But this is what people are, because this is what people are looking at. In order to give you an understanding why they may be feeling the way they're feeling or acting the way they're, they're acting, that's, this is probably why. The problem, the real problem, is still there in um, South Florida, Miami-Dade, with as you can see, ten thousand, not almost eleven thousand cases, two hundred eighty-seven deaths. Then Broward with forty-five hundred ninety-one cases, one hundred sixty-two deaths, and my Palm Beach County with twenty-six hundred cases, one hundred fifty-five deaths. So this is still where the hot spot is in Florida. I think I don't think that sometimes people who are not in Florida understand how big Florida is, uh, and how diverse it is. So there you go. All right, this is that little purple spot there, is Mobile, Alabama. That's Mobile. 
That's not Florida. And this place is Baldwin, Alabama. It's not Florida. Uh, we don't get into Florida until we get way the heck over here. Santa Rosa, Santa Rosa County, Florida. And this is uh, Baldwin. That's Santa Rosa. And I think that's a Scambia. Uh, I'll, I'll go this next. Um, so there you go. In any case, this is hopefully an explanation of why people are feeling the way they're feeling and wanting government to act accordingly.